All right, so this video is about the peppermint plants that I have growing, and I'm not 100% sure of the exact species of this plant, but I'm just gonna keep the video as basic peppermint, and that's it. I don't know if it's chocolate peppermint or lemon peppermint, it just tastes like peppermint. But the thing is, I do want to kind of call it an invasive species because just the nature of the way this thing grows, it's not like a registered invasive species, but man, I'll tell you, this thing is spreads all over my yard. I don't even know how this plant got over here next to my truck. All right, my truck is just basically not usable right now, so it just sits here. So somewhere along the line, somehow some seeds spread from a patch that I have grown all the way over by my deck, all the way over there. This all started from one little plant that I brought home, one little cutting. And I started one little cutting and I planted it over where you seen me just pan over. And now this stuff is starting to show up all over my yard. So I just wanted to just point this out as a potential invasive plant i can't i don't really want to say invasive species because it seems like a lot of people are getting like disturbed by me calling it invasive species it's not an invasive species it's native i really don't want to get in like a, into a debuttal with people about whether it's an invasive species or not but i personally tell you that this plant is extremely aggressive and it is invasive in and, in and of its own self either on a micro or macro level it may not be a national registered invasive species or a statewide uh, invasive species, but I can personally tell you that this plant is spreading around my yard and I, it's starting to get out of control. So, I mean, I'm selling the property anyway, so I don't really care what this plant does here. I do want to bring out a point that this plant will spread far beyond the runners and the rhizomes that come out. The seeds that this thing produces also spreads. I like the plant. I do eat peppermint. I'm going to eat a piece right now. See that? It's a nice fresh piece of peppermint. No bugs, right? It's an excellent plant. It freshens your taste buds out. It's a very nice plant to snack on. I don't recommend eating a lot of it. These, a lot of these wild plants do contain oxalic acids and other compounds that can become toxic to your system just by having large amounts of it in your, your system. So you don't want to eat a lot of it every day. But a leaf or two here and there added to your salad or to your cooking and stuff, that's not really going to bother you. It's just you don't want to eat tons and tons of this stuff. All right? So you just want to just use things in moderation yes it is good for you it is not poison these plants do contain compounds that can become an issue and you don't want to overeat anything that is going to do permanent damage to your liver or your kidneys or any other organ in your body you want to eat things in moderation a couple leaves of this a couple leaves of that just be aware of that these plants do contain compounds that can cause issues with you down the road okay so I, I just wanted to point this out and add this to my invasive species list even though it's not a registered invasive species I do want to consider it invasive in nature okay so I will put this under that playlist and you'll be able to view it there all right so if you have any comments on this plant or any experience on this plant please comment below share your experience let us all learn from your experience that's it all right, so I'll give you a closer look at the, one of the tops. That's the top. That's what the plant looks like. It's not in flower yet. I'll, I'll shoot a short video of it once it flowers. I'll add it to the flower playlist, connect you to this video so you can see the flowers back and forth from the old video to this video. But that's what it looks like. And you'll know it's peppermint if you rub the leaves like this smell your hands and boy that's gonna smell like peppermint okay so that's the uh, peppermint patch that kind of came up on its own and it's spreading all around which I may pull some of this out or eh, maybe I'll leave it I don't really care so all right so that's your peppermint plant I'll leave all the 
information in the description below. Like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.